The world of Zelda is filled with mystery, from the lost lands of Termina to the dream world of Koholins. However often, the most terrifying secrets are right there in plain sight for anybody to see, barely being disguised as a secret. And in Breath of the Wild, I discovered something very unsettling. A truth that no man or woman should ever know about. A reality that is so horrible that some of you might close this video out of pure shock, because in Breath of the Wild, Link is actually dead. Now let's dive headfirst into this mystery to uncover the truth. Now we all know how Breath of the Wild begins. It is one of the most iconic intros Nintendo has ever made, and it reminds most of us a lot of the very first Zelda title they released for the NES. Link awakens from a deep slumber and a mysterious voice guides him to discover what has become of the ruined kingdom of Hyrule. And so he leaves the Shrine of Resurrection, runs up to the ledge, and looks out at the ruins of the kingdom of Hyrule that is now absolutely destroyed. Well, a lot of it at least. However, something feels off here. In the beginning, you don't really notice this because you don't know what happened before. Link has amnesia because of what happened. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> that's what Nintendo and Ayanuma want you to believe. And so many of you sheeple actually took the bait. Even after you found all the memories and saw the plot holes with your own eyes. However, today we will take a deeper look at all of this and I will open your third eye so you can look beyond the first layer of the story. Now, like I said, Link wakes up, has no recollection of what happened, and sees the destroyed Hyrule. And at that point, he tries to regain his memories, but there are a couple of things that stand out. In one of the last memories you collect, known as Zelda's Awakening, we see several Guardian Stalkers corrupted by Malice, and Link is clearly weakened and almost dead. But he continues to protect Zelda despite her protests. He stumbles to his feet again, just as a Guardian Stalker finds and locks onto him. But then, with a shout, Zelda pushes Link out of its crosshairs and holds up her hand. At that point, a glow glowing light forms, and the symbol of the Triforce appears on the back of her hand. This light expands, deactivating all the nearby guardians. It is clear that she used her sealing power. But in the meantime, Link finally collapsed and succumbed to his wounds and Zelda rushes to his side, shaking him and begging him to get up. But he goes limp and actually dies. But then suddenly a noise can be heard from the Master Sword, and Zelda hears a voice within the sword that tells her of a way to save Link. Which is awfully convenient, I would say. But it gets even worse, because at that point, two Sheikah guards magically arrive and Zelda commands them to take Link to the Shrine of Resurrection, stating if they aren't quick, he will be lost forever. And then they are off to put Link in the so-called Shrine of Resurrection. How about her? We never see any of this. In this memory, we don't see the Shrine of Resurrection, and we don't see the Sheikah guards taking him there. So personally, I would say all of this is... Odd. The sword starts magically talking about some solution that no one ever knew about, and then two Sheikahs magically appear. And aside from that, we never see Link being put in this so-called Shrine of Resurrection that was made by the ancient Sheikahs long ago. All of this doesn't add up. I don't believe any of this ever happened. It's clear that this Sheikah technology is a scam. We only see Sheikah technology raise towers or power lifts but they can't heal or revive people, there's no proof at all that it can do that. And there are huge gaps in the recovered memories. He can't even remember being put in it, but he does remember getting picked up by those Sheikahs? So clearly something is horribly wrong here. We are being deceived by Nintendo so they can craft the ultimate plot twist. And if you know, you can already see where this is going. It's so obvious. Nintendo has misled all you poor sheep-like people for months now, and none of you actually noticed. Ever since the first Breath of the Wild 2 trailer released, it has been obvious to anyone with a brain and two eyes that function. Link is not actually Link. 
It is a clone made using the evil malice-like substance that Ganondorf uses. We have even seen such clones before in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, but those were just primitive versions. In time, Ganondorf created more complex versions where you can't see the difference between the real and the fake one. So clearly, the Link seen in Breath of the Wild is actually an evil clone that was created to distract and fool us all. And there's proof in the game that shows that this Link isn't the real one, aside from the odd gaps in his memories that don't make any sense. Just look how he acts in the world. He kills anything he comes across, and I'm not talking about Bokoblins. Even innocent animals aren't safe from Link's wrath. Even some people he comes across regret the day they encountered him. Just look at this. He kills so many innocent animals, and he slaps a lot of people silly. Sure, he saves and helps some people as well, but that's all part of the plan of confusing people like you! But that isn't even the biggest piece of evidence. The main reason why this theory is 100% true and cannot be disputed by anyone is the fact that Link was just killing fake Ganon Blights instead of the real villain. This whole time, Link was going after all the Blights found inside of the Divine Beasts and took them out. But then, when he had conquered all of them and could use the power of the Divine Beasts to actually use them to get rid of the evil for once and for all, he wasted it on purpose. Because the Ganon inside of Hyrule Castle was just a distraction. And we found that out as soon as the new trailer came out for Breath of the Wild 2. So this evil Link clone just wasted the powers of the Divine Beasts on a fake copy of Ganon. So everyone in Hyrule would let their guard down. Because Ganon was dead. And the great horror locked inside of Hyrule Castle was defeated. But in the end, all of that doesn't matter. Because Ganondorf still lives, as we can see in the first Breath of the Wild 2 trailer. So, we have been fooled. And it's all because of the fake Link clone made out of malice. He's part of Ganon's plan, and the real Link actually died and was harvested for his physical form and memories. That way, a perfect copy could be made with altered memories to fool the people of Hyrule and ultimately doom them. Think about it. At the end of Breath of the Wild, after defeating Calamity Ganon, the spirits of the champions disappear and move on to the afterlife, which could actually be a very big problem, because they were the ones that could control these mechanical beasts. But now they are gone, so we most likely can't use the Divine Beasts anymore. Which is quite handy for Ganondorf. So as you can see, the world of Breath of the Wild is filled with secrets and lies. With this so-called Link, being the worst. So, the next time you play through Breath of the Wild, you should be able to see that the Link you're playing as is actually not the real one. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed this theory video, it is 100% true and you cannot dispute the fact that it has certain issues, it is, it is factual almost, like Nintendo confirmed it on their Twitter, um, look at this, look here, Ayanuma said it's real, I swear. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell button because I'm the best theorist on this darn website. And uh, tell me in the comments what you thought about this perfect video and uh, leave a like or I will get very sad. Bye!